RealAirCulture.com presents Under the Microscope with BioVision Seed Labs. I think one of the watchouts that we, actually two watchouts that we should be looking for as uh, pedigree seed growers or farmers who are testing their seed is one is heating in the bin. Uh, keep in mind that the, the crop, a majority of the crop was harvested during a really hot, warm spell. So I think uh, producers and seed growers should be managing their bins and just watching out for heating. So some of the uh, symptoms that we see from an analytical perspective on heating beyond opening up the bag and it having a, the odor of heating right. is that uh, kernels that are heated will have various symptoms. Severe heating, they will not sprout. Um, moderate heating, they will actually sprout. Uh, but they won't um, have the essential structures to produce a plant. So they may have a shoot, may not have a root, et cetera. So um, that is one watch out is for heating in the bin. Uh, the other watch out would be for central Alberta. And that in particular is for frost damage. And there was, was frost that did occur about two weeks ago. So uh, one thing that a lot of farmers don't understand is that there are specific criteria that analysts look at in the lab. And frosted kernels can actually sprout. And so if you're trying it at home, you won't really be able to see what a sprouted, uh, a frosted kernel is compared to a regular kernel. So, so one of the things that we see in the lab for frost damage is the seed will actually sprout. It will produce a root and it'll uh, produce what looks like a shoot. But in fact, it's only the coleoptile. Hmm. The first true leaf does not actually emerge from the coleoptile. So um, it's very important that you know analysts who have been accredited and in the industry for a long time uh, take a look at these uh, samples that did have any frost damage. Have you, you know, I guess, what, what are some of those practices or what should a farmer do if he knows he put in uh, some hot grain? What are some of those things he needs to do? Uh, is it regular testing or what is it? Well, obviously, monitoring the bins would be the most important part. If there's, you know, warm spots starting, uh, uh, turning the bins, etc., as much as you can do. But I would, I would recommend always a preliminary germ right off, right at the first couple months after combining. So as soon as you can get the sample in. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done on the farm in the fall, but try to get us a sample within the first two months. And we always do recommend uh, testing again after cleaning and closer to springtime. 